welcome to Mr. Foreman's blind, leading the blind, do-it-yourself, fix-it videos. And today, we are replacing this, which is a door actuator that handles all your closing and opening needs. And it has a little motor in there, which allows it to unlock and lock remotely or via central locking. These seize up, which I must admit, this vehicle's 12 years old, so it's not bad. Now, my friend James, down at British European, he says that He's cleaned these things up before and got them working again, but they just rapidly seize up again. He says, bite the bullet, just get a new one. You get another 10 years out of that. So I'm going to show you, I hope, how to do it. And the first thing we have to do, of course, is open the door. We're going to have to take this panel off. And holding it on are seven screws. Seven. Two are here on the handle. One little stumpy one hidden behind this lever. And there are two here on each side of the door and two right down the bottom. Now I'm quite lucky because I've only got three left. Four in fact. So it's going to make my job of taking all this off a lot quicker. It's like um, it's like wheel nuts when you're taking the tyre off. Why, why undo all five when, when you can get away with two? This one's well hidden. There we go, what luck. Ooh. I think there's one in there. Gee whiz, it's a little bit hard to get out. Once you get your screws out of the door, hopefully you've got seven, I've got four, is I'm gonna compartmentalize all my sort of bits and pieces. So I have a rough idea as I'm putting it all back together, where everything comes from. So once you've got your screws out, then this contraption here should just slide out like such, and then twist, and comes off. Once the screws are out, it's time to pop this panel off the studs. Now we're gonna move this weathering out of the way. You see here, just on the side of the door? You try to be careful, as you get that out because you can easily warp it like I have and then it never sits in the same again. Okay, popping the panel, you wanna be careful and take it easy. Those snapping noises are kind of normal. Oh, and there we go. Panel is popped. Lift it off. Maybe not. Okay, lift it off the lock, and you'll see that you're still connected electronically to the speakers. So gently press the latches, oh. and then this last one, there's a little clip, and should just wiggle free, there, okay. Once you have that off, put it somewhere where you can find it again. Once you've popped your panel with your panel popper, you'll be, meet, you'll be greeted by this uh, plastic weathering shield and held on by some sort of a tar. And what you want to do now is carefully peel that away. Because you want it to re-stick again. Lift that up and over the lock and peel it back about halfway. Also, when you're popping your panel, you may have left some of the studs. Oh. Ow. It's not working at all. Oh, what did I do there? Actually, we'll just can that. I don't think that was meant to cap. <laughs> or was it? So what we're doing now is we're going to release this lock. And just inside, you'll see the way it presses into a little plastic clip. And it does release quite simply by just firm but gentle pressure. And it will click out. Set that aside somewhere. After we've got the lock off, there are still two more linkages that we have to take off. And we're going to extract this one that runs from here. I'm just going to release that to give me a little more room. Put it out of the way. And you can see the way that it, it slots in. And 
the way to get that out, and it's difficult to see from outside, so it can be a little mystery, but apply firm and even pressure while still retaining that lover's touch. And out she comes. And once it's popped out, you can lever it off the hook and set that aside. The next one's a real trick if you've uh, if you've been trying to look in there. The linkage that holds on the hook for the outside door has it slots into a little hole and it's got this sneaky little locking sleeve that comes around and that has to be extracted. I'm going to use this little pick here with the funny little spiky squiggle on the end. Now it's tricky and lever it up until it goes pop and once you've got that off you can just push it out and everything is now released what do we do next so we've taken off the lock we've disengaged the other two linkages there's also an electrical cable that goes in that operates the little actuator and that simply clips aside and you're done so as far as knowing whether or not it's an electrical fault or a mechanical fault that it seized, when you click your fob, you should be able to hear the actuator trying to work. And if you don't hear that, then you'd probably be looking at electrical. Right, now let's take it off. Okay, to extract the actuator, all we have to do now, well, it's not all, but these three screws that have what we call in America, I believe, torques or spiky things. <coughs> All right, with those three out, it is almost free. Don't forget to compartmentalize. So we have run into an issue that these, this window frame extends all the way down to the base and this actuator kind of wraps around it. So I've been unable to Houdini this thing out of its position. The only solution I've found is to release this frame. You don't have to take it out, but to loosen it so you can lift it and then the actuator can drop down underneath. Let's go about that. All right, so the, there's two down the bottom, one on either side and with a long extension and a 10 mil socket. Take that bolt out of there. Should be ready. Okay, there we go. Next one we're going to tackle is the larger of the two. This little one that latches on your outside door handle. So we're going to get in here. And this is a different size, this is a bigger torque than the ones that took off the actuator. And it's a stumpy little fellow. So remember that goes on the outside. Okay, the fourth one is right down here in this little thing and the tool I was using before, no chance. So what I have with this little torque bit and a quarter mil, well no, quarter inch wrench, I'm gonna So we've taken out two torques, two bolts, and this thing still rock solid. So it is hidden under this far left-hand corner inside this, hidden inside this little hole is the last bolt to undo. This one takes a 13 millimeter socket. And now things are loosening up. Oh, good one. I just lost it down that little hole. If we ever, if we ever uh, get this thing back, I'll show you a little trick how to put it back, because this is not a pleasant place to lose it. Ah, <laughs> what luck. Those clips 
they hold on the weather sealing that goes on the outside of the window and that'll also make it easier to lift the window frame. Now I'm going to call in my saucy assistant Summer to help me with this. Alright, so Summer's just going to lift the frame a little, she can, about there. And there we go. One actuator extracted. Things going on here that I'm not happy with. Get a hand. I'll leave it at that. With the old actuator out, we still have the linkage attached. Now take note at how far that thread protrudes from the plastic because this is a slack adjuster that connects your actuator to the outside door handle when you want to match it up as best you can. To detach this little plastic clip, we actually need to take this out and then we can pivot it away. Okay, so I've got everything in exact position as how I took it out because I'm easily confused. I have the new actuator here and then I'm going to pivot that into position and now I know it's exactly where it should be. I'm screwing the linkage back in to try and get it to match up the original and then we will be ready to reinstall our brand new actuator. A little more of that side, yeah, that'll do. Oh, there's a lot of jimming around. And, ooh, promising. Okay. I think before I get too excited about doing anything else, reconnecting cables, I'm going to try and realign this mess. Right, I'm going to pop this uh, bolt back in here, but to try to avoid losing it down that little hole, I'm going to put some paper and just make the gaps a little tighter. So hopefully it just doesn't fall out. Oh, it feels like I've got a bite. Oh, perfect. I'm not going to do them all up tight yet. I'm going to make sure they're all in roughly adjusted first. All right, getting this one in is no fun. I've got my knee on the door and I'm pulling back on the frame and I think I've just got a bite now, so that's a good sign. Yep, splendid. Shit. If you hear any gunfire in the background, that's just the soothing sounds of the American countryside. So with this um, bottom railing, do you see those, the way that thing like slides backwards and forwards? So before you put your screw in, you just want to make sure that that's lined up. And then you can get a bit of a bite in there and you're away. All right, now we've got all, the, all five bolts and screws in and do everything up tight now. Lock it into place. Good thing is we had the window up that's sort of our guideline. Oh, that's good. All right, now the window frame's all locked into place. Our next mission is just to reattach that linkage. Now, remember that locking sleeve. Just push it through the hole. But that locking sleeve, don't lock it into place yet. We've got to make sure that everything's adjusted. This one. First we'll hook it back into place. Don't forget your electrical attachment. This will only go in one way, so you should be able to work it out. That snaps on. And before we do anything else, 
before we attach that little locking sleeve, before we put the panel back on, we gotta test the doors. It's not a good sign. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna give this a try, the fob. Oh, <laughs> smooth as a baby's bottom. Yep, there we go. So, if by chance that this door was unlocked and you still couldn't open it, that's why we haven't put that locking sleeve on. So you can adjust it and then try it again. Now to get your door open, you'll go inside and reach through because we haven't put the panel on. You can reach through and get to the bottom of that linkage and push down. That'll open your door. And Bob Girani, let's put it all back together. It appears that everything is back together. Lock. Perfect. So there we go. I hope this video helps for anyone who's in a similar position to us and needs to replace door actuators. Please subscribe if you want any more do-it-yourself videos or even better adventure videos is what we specialize in. So subscribe and like and thanks for watching.